I press the button, butter. It was all about you. We just sort of walked away from a, what felt a bit traumatizing or a bit exhausting. Something's not working, you gotta change something. Fuck! Wow! Yes? But you have to use the word. Right, right, okay. It can't just be something you're saying. Right. I feel like maybe sometimes I'm getting a little bogged down in the specifics. And if I can get this, I can get everything, so. It's under three weeks of their training. They have to know all the music of the show. There's a little bit of a deer in the headlights moment. Take the material they know and do it on stage. It's really early until it's not. Every step kind of just ups the stakes. Musically, they will be moving on to other big parts of the show. The focus tightens up tremendously and the, the expectations go up. We hit the ground running. Musically, we just, we just learn the first quarter of the show, all the music. We play Fast and Furious. All the drumming in our show has a ceremonial, almost ritualistic kind of approach. I'm really loving the music. It's fun to work on. You know, you, you get people lined up on the drums and you just bang away. I love it. It's so much fun. It just comes more naturally to me, so I'm just, I'm all about it. <laughs> I'm not a trained drummer. I can do it, but it's very quick. We were training and training. I was like, oh, come on, come on, Connor. Oftentimes we get inexperienced musicians, you know? They're, they're doing this thing for the first time. They just don't feel a lot of confidence. And that's the whole thing with drumming. It's funny, you, you need confidence. I have had no drumming background per se. I'd always had natural rhythm. I always used to hammer on everything since I was a kid. I used to drive everybody crazy. So I had a natural musical rhythm. I played guitar. Um, <clears throat> and all my friends, I grew up with musicians, but as, as a drummer myself, no, I wasn't a drummer. If, if any guy has any drumming needs or, or you know, we will, we will give it to them. My job is to convince him that he can do it and then give him the tools to really excel. The biggest notes that I seemed to be getting about it were that I was getting a little locked into a, a very specific physicality. So it wasn't, it wasn't like giving the room to breathe and like actually move and flow naturally. It was like very like proper and it's like good, but it's not necessarily natural in the sense that a blue man is natural. The character is the driving force. That is the most important aspect of this whole thing. I can say, here's your part. <laughs> But they have to bring that to life in a way, and that's where I hand the reins off to the, the Blue Man trainers. Yeah. <laughs> that's a mind fuck. Yeah. When you're getting ready to put someone on stage, you have to know the stuff, and you have to be ready. Most of the time people are having some sort of challenge, you know, of some kind that they have to figure out a way into and, and a thing to overcome. And um, a lot of times that is um, just sort of making a leap. So, you are, yes. I'm yes. You're well. I'm well. You're well. I'm well. Yep. <laughs> so, we're gonna do that exercise. Left is wow, center is fuck and right is yes. While running Yes. Wow. Wow. It is sort of a combination exercise that is not 
you overthinking something, so trying to get you out of your head in sort of a different way. keeping the word going, but you have to use the word. Right. Okay. It can't just be something you're saying. Right. All right? It's, it has been difficult. Um, it's definitely one of the more difficult processes that I've ever, I've ever been a part of, like learning a role. It's, it's a difficult place to click into. You're thinking too much and there's a lot of tension that happens when you get like that. Um, and there's a lot of stress and that stress lands in the face, it lands in the jaw, um, and, and it also takes away your ability to be playful, which is, of course, a huge part of the character. Yes! Wow! Yes! Yes! Wow! Yes! Wow! Yes! Yes! Wow! There's a big difference between intellectually understanding something and having a visceral understanding of that thing. Wow. That's what, hopefully, is going to happen this week with, with some of these guys is they're going to start to like feel it in their gut. That's that's obviously what we're all hoping for. Wow. Wow. Yes. So the agenda for today, we're going to do three full run-throughs of the material that we'll be doing in the swap in. This is the first major milestone in the training process. Yes, that's right. Take the material they know and we'll have them do it in sequence. Yes, right. Don't drop out, don't hop out of anything. The thing that we're the most interested in is you staying, is you being a character, stay in character. This is the first time that we've busted right through all these pieces, and um, so the pressure was definitely on to sort of try and actually do it. Yeah. Um, all right, Ian and David, Michael Hammond are first. Kean obviously seems like he's already from another planet. That is awesome. I'm just really interested in watching him. I have no idea what he's thinking, but I really want to know. It's very challenging. Stay in it and take it deadly serious, but also play. And that's, that's what we're working with. It's really hard, it's, it, it's exacting, but it's really fun. David Michael Hands is pretty easy. He tends to have some tension in his mouth. Sometimes he's very frowny. I am very aware of it when it does come. I'm definitely feeling the tension ease off, ease off, ease off. David Bowen, he's very heroic. You look at him and you're like, oh, I'll leave, I'll, of course I'll follow you. Tell me where to go, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll get out of the fire, okay. I'm like a very like tall, athletic guy, so it's like it's gonna be very easy for me, especially with the paint and everything, to be like intimidating. He's gonna have to figure out how to find the other side of himself to to, to be in the character. Connor, Connor seems to be a little bit in a state of confusion. I would give him some of David Bowen's energy of like, all right, I know where we're going, I know what we're doing. I just use that and turn it into a positive and see what we can do. Because you don't want to be on stage all flustered and all worried. You want to be giving an energy, making the audience go with you on this journey. Andy, Andy is, Andy's funny, Andy's playful. He seems to get the rhythm and story pretty quickly. This character is, is innocent and always in the moment. It's almost like the more you know, the less you know. 
And the less you know, the more you know, which is good. <laughs> she's... Ah! For Murph, he ultimately just needs to go a lot further. Way sillier. Not worry about what other people think. I mean, this is the challenge that we all face in our lives, right? And certainly actors face every, every day. With this Blue Man thing, it's going to be a lot of copying with the veterans and people who have been doing this for years and years, copying their approach and then using that as a template and then sprinkling slowly, slowly, slowly little bits of myself into the character and eventually I'll have my own, hopefully I'll have my own way of doing this. This is the big moment. There is just, you know, so much adrenaline when people go on the stage for the first time. You just kind of looked around like you were waiting to be told, and this is your, your orchestrating the piece. And of course, you get to see just how they deal with that pressure and that stress. That's the next exciting part.